Hello, this is Toby and David from Dead Herrings, with the news of the week ending the 4th of December 2011. Firstly, Jeb has taken over from Notch as lead developer of Minecraft. This looks very much like a change that will benefit Mojang as it pushes more content and games. Notch can work as creative genius and Jeb can pick, fix bugs and push forward with Minecraft, which he is already doing. It secures a creative outfront on every front, creating, developing, and adding content to the different games in the same small company. Minecraft Pocket Edition sees an update to Android systems, primarily bug fixes, and the same update is waiting to go live on iOS. We'll be seeing more content for the Portable Edition in the future, as Mojang have published as much information as they have on their blog. Survival and crafting are the next items on the list, it seems, which is pretty up there in desirability. Let's put the craft into Minecraft Pocket Edition. Remember, all necessary links are in the links and squinks below. Minecraft Net has suffered a fair bit of downtime over a day or so this week, resulting in failed login attempts. Volstam not only kept people updated on his work whilst he tried to recover and stabilise the servers, he also went one step further and beefed them. That's what we like to see, improvements, not just repair. Finally for Minecraft, Mojang have continued their talks with LEGO and are once again rallying support for several Minecraft themed sets to be created along with the close help of the original kit designers. We think these look totally awesome and we'd love for you guys to show your support as you can. Again, the link for that will be below. Now, there's no recent news for Terraria, but for all of those who, who didn't catch last week's news, the 1.1 update is out in all its glory. Including in this update are a whopping 36 new monsters, a new boss and revamp of all the old bosses, a completely new environment and biome that will be created when the new boss, the Wall of Flesh, has been defeated. Also included is a system of wiring, not unlike that from Minecraft, allowing you to wire up lighting, lava traps, automatic firing defence towers and much more. We'll be showing you some videos in the future to do with that, so keep an eye out for it. If you're a fan of the Blizzard games and are wetting the bed with happies about the new game Diablo 3, the beta is now out for testing and playing. There's not many keys left though, so hurry over to the site which will all, as always, will be in the links and squinks below. Now, we know that Skyrim is out and we'll be bringing you a couple of videos from the most awesome of awesome games over the next few weeks. One of the things that Bethesda games are known for, however, is their modding support, and PC Gamer have compiled a list of 20 best Skyrim mods to install. No doubt this list will change as mods come and go, so keep an eye out for any that you think will make Skyrim just that little bit greater. Bethesda will also be releasing its official modding kit in January, so if you're a creative monster, be sure to check that out when it comes. That's all we can cram in today. Thanks again for watching. Why don't you make some sweet mouse clicking love to that like button and subscribe to our channel to enhance your ear pleasure. Ta-ta!